Hey everyone, so I'm creating my new account right now. I'm going to show you how I do it. But you go to FreeCodeCamp, you see this, learn to code for free, join a supportive community of millions of coders, um, build projects, earn free certificates, um, get experience coding for nonprofits. It's, you start coding, it's free, and then you know, featured in those places. These are some of the reviews they have, learn powerful skills, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, databases, uh, GitHub, and Git, Node.js, React.js, D3.js, they are a donor supported tax exempt non profit organization in US. This is the number. Um, the mission is to help. Their mission is to help people learn to code for free. They accomplish this by creating thousands of videos, articles, interactive coding lessons all freely available to the public. They have thousands of uh, code camp study groups around the world. You can donate to them. So you can get a tax deductible donation. You can start coding, it's free. Right, click on it. So when you come here, it says uh, join a community of millions of people learning to code for free. So definitely you can you know, join using your Google, your GitHub, Facebook, or email. And then when you do the so, you agree to the terms on the terms of service as well as the privacy policy that they have here, which you should take a look at for sure. This is their terms of service. Um, so you can read all these things. Important terms, permission to use the site, conditions of use of site, acceptable use, um, content standards, enforcement, your account, your content, your responsibility, disclaimers, limits of liability, feedback, um, termination, disputes, general terms, changes etc 